Warning: The following fanfic reading is for mature audiences only. It contains profanity and gore. Viewer's discretion is advised. Once upon a time, in the land of Equestria, there is a dark, black, and red-maned Pegasus who is hungry for some sweets. His name is Crimson. His stomach growls. Ah, oh God, I am getting hungry. Well, the best place to go is Sugar Cube Corner, or I could possibly kill thousands of ponies, but. Well, I crave something much sweeter. He trots around Ponyville, admiring the sights and the different stores in the Ponyville market. It takes him a few minutes to arrive at Sherkey Corner. There are sweets everywhere. Cinnamon rolls, cakes, cupcakes, and all kinds of sweets are in this bakery. Mr. and Mrs. Cake run the bakery and Pinkie Pie is their helper. The bell from the door entrance rings when Crimson arrives. The customers look at him strangely. Who is that Pegasus? I don't think he's from around here. Crimson walks slowly to the countertop, finding all sorts of sweets inside the other side of the glass counter. He craves one special kind of sweets in particular: chocolate. Pinkie Pie bounces to the counter and greets Crimson. Sugar Cube Corner! You must be new here in Ponyville! I haven't met you before! What's your name? My name is Crimson Mortal. Don't you forget it. Pinkie Pie looks at Crimson and frowns. Oh, some pony is in a sour mood today. Then Pinkie Pie is back to her normal, cheerful self. Anyway, my name is Pinkie Pie. It's a pleasure to meet you. I haven't met any pony as unusual as you, though. Seriously, how many Pegasus have I seen with dark and gray spots in their coat? Like, I don't think I know them any at all. It's so weird, though, right? Seriously. I would like to order something, Pinkie. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Crimson. I'm rambling, aren't I? Yes, mortal, you are. Anyway, what would you like to order? Crimson thinks about something he would like to order. Then he notices a four-tier chocolate cake in the corner of his eye. Crimson licks his lips in hunger. What would I give to have this delicious cake all to myself and just devour it? He points to the cake with his clawed hoof. I would like to have that cake over there. Oh, that cake? I'm sorry, but that is reserved for a wedding that one of my customers ordered. Crimson stomps his hoof in frustration, causing the scene. Fucking damn it! Pinkie Pie and all the customers jump in surprise. They are shaking in fear. Crimson grabs Pinkie Pie in the throat and lightly squeezes it. Pinkie Pie struggles to breathe. Who ordered the goddamn cake?
So, this is a surprise, huh? Okay, Pinky. I can trust you. I'm not going to kill you this time. Pinky Pie coughs and hyperventilates in order for her to breathe. I will spare you, for now. I must have a sample of that cake, though. Nopsy nopsy! I can't do that! I pinky promised! What the fuck? Well then, Crimson is going to have to wait until later to get this cake. Oh well, too bad. I can't get my damn cake. Unless... Oh... <laughs> I got a devious and devilish idea. Crimson leaves the bakery, determined to get his cake. As day goes by and the bakery closes, it is late at night and no pony is there. There are some Pegasus security guards patrolling the bakery with their flashlights with their wings, ensuring no pony ever gets to the bakery or even steals anything. Crimson is going to have to be clever and sneaky about this. Fuck, just my luck. Those goddamn security guards are out there. It's time for me to think of a plan. Crimson quietly sneaks to another bush as it quietly rustles. The guards see this and look around the bushes. Luckily, they didn't see him. Shit, I almost got caught. Damn. Those guards are so good. He quietly sneaks around trying to find an opening to a safe place. But unfortunately for Crimson, the guards are very good at their jobs and finding an opening is going to be very difficult. Crimson sneaks to a guard and scratches him, attempting to kill a guard in cold blood. The other guards are alerted. <laughs> What the hell is going on? Red, do you copy? Copy that, Blue. Black has been scratched. We need to find out who did this and fast. Crimson flies away and surveys the scene. Unfortunately, the guards see them with their flashlights. There you are, you evil Pegasus! Get him! As the guards chase him, Crimson flies down to the ground, runs as fast as he can, and jumps into a bush. Thankfully, the guards can't see him on the other side. Crimson pants, trying to catch his breath. Damn. They're too good. I need to think of something. Hmm. Killing them in cold blood would only alert them to where I am. But if I silence them quickly and quietly, then they would be unconscious. Let's try that tactic. Crimson quietly sneaks around the bakery, waiting for the guards to turn away from him. Did you see him, Green? Well, that Pegasus is pretty fast. I only saw him out of the corner of my eye. Did you see anything, Yellow? Nothing here, Green. Just nothing but pure darkness and no pony here. Gotcha. Well, keep your eye out for this evil Pegasus. Crimson quietly flies up to see his surroundings. Anything here? Nope, I don't see that Pegasus. Where is he coming from? Just keep looking. We'll find this Pegasus and put him to justice. The guards split to their posts and slowly trot all over the premises with their flashlights. Crimson finds his perfect opportunity. He hides behind the large trash bin, which makes some noise. Oh shit. The guards are alerted to his location. Who's there? Well, go check! The guards point their flashlights to the front of the trash bin. What the hell is that? It's nothing, Green. Let's split up again, everyone. The guards split to their post. Crimson sighs a relief, knowing that he isn't caught. Whew. Oh, thank God. I thought I wouldn't get caught. Now then, I'm getting closer to my chocolate cake. Now, I have to knock the guards unconscious. 
Crimson quietly sneaks up to one of the guards when the other guards aren't looking and smothers Red with his claw hoof, suffocating her, rendering her unconscious. <laughs> yes, one guard down, three to go. Hey, this reminds me of Middle Gear Solid and Batman Arkham Asylum. Hey babe, are you putting all these references in? Of course I am, hun. I'm not going to make it easy for you to get the chocolate cake now, would I? Oh, you are so devious and devilish, babe. I like a good challenge. I'm glad, hun. Anyway, you're back to your sneaking, honey. Right. <clears throat> Crimson hides behind the large garbage bin again. The guards notice the unconscious Red, and they get scared. Red! Red! Wake up! No! She's not waking up! She's unconscious! Well, we have to set up our game here, and, and be more aware of our surroundings. Right. Away we go. Let's split our posts. <laughs> they fear me. How delightful. Now, to get rid of these other guards. Yellow, green, and blue are shakily holding their flashlights with their wings, and they are nervous. Do, 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 do you, you see anything? Anywhere? N nope. I, I don't see any, anything. C copy that, Yellow. Crimson has more of an opening now that Red is unconscious. Crimson slowly and quietly sneaks around behind Green while the others aren't looking, and smothers him with his clawed hoof, suffocating him and rendering him unconscious. Crimson hides behind a bush. The guards are alerted and find Green unconscious. Oh no! Green! He's unconscious! Shall we make sure that Pegasus hides behind a large garbage bin? Good idea. That way, we'll find him in no time. Damn, there goes my best hiding spot. Oh well, it's time for more sneaking around then. The guards are very far apart from each other on all sides. They are scared out of their minds, worrying that something is going to get them and kill them. Now, I have two unconscious and two left. This shall be easy. They are terrible. They don't know what will hit them. Crimson sneaks around the premises and finds Blue. Crimson sneaks behind him, and before suffocating him, he quietly says to him, Here I am, mortal. It's time for you to fall asleep now. Crimson proceeds to smother Blue with his claw hoof, suffocating him, and he goes unconscious. Crimson hides on the other side of the bakery, where Blue is unconscious. Yellow runs to Blue. Blue does not respond. Yellow is scared for her life. What if that Pegasus comes to get me and kill me? I'm so terrified that I don't know what to do! Yellow frantically moves her flashlight around everything. Yes, only one more to go. I think I've had enough suffocating for once. It's time to kill. Hmm. No witnesses are present. It's time to kill that mayor security guard once and for all. <laughs> Crimson quietly sneaks around the premises and sneaks behind Yellow. He scratches her, and Yellow screams in pain. Mm, I love hearing screams from my victims. Get away from me, you... you evil Pegasus! Help! Somebody help me! <laughs> Calling for help is useless. They can't hear you. They are all unconscious. You... You do 
didn't just... I did. I smothered every single one of your guard friends unconscious. And now, I shall kill you in cold blood. Mm, I've been hungry for a long time. I think you'll do nicely in a feast for me. Something I'll harvest. No! Don't do it! Please! <laughs> it's too late now. No! He leans in to whisper in Yellow's ear. Scream for me. Crimson squeezes Yellow's neck and it snaps in half blood spurting out of her. He makes incisions to her body, cutting it open. Ah, what a beautiful piece of artwork. I shall enjoy this harvest. Mm, that cake is going to be a bonus. It's time for the harvest. Crimson harvests Yellow's corpse, bones and all. Mm. That was delicious. Now for that cake. Crimson makes a crack shaped like a circle big enough for him to fit through. He noticed big red lasers surrounding all over the chocolate cake. If he touches the laser, alarms will go off and it'll be the end for him in Ponyville. Wow, lasers, are you kidding me? How can I deactivate the lasers? I want that cake so bad! I have to think about what to do. Crimson slowly gets inside Shirky Corner. He notices his surroundings. It's dark and there's only big red lasers behind the glass countertop. He notices a safe that contains something helpful inside. But he will need a passcode to reach the button inside the safe. Crimson looks at me in the confused and annoyed expression. Babe, really? A passcode to get into the safe? Yes, really? I told you I'm not making this easy on you. You're going to need to figure out the passcode to get into the safe because something helpful's inside. Something to help you get that cake. I'm not telling you what it is, though. You ought to figure out yourself, honey. <sighs> Fine. Anyway, what do we have here? Crimson notices the cupcakes arranged in a random fashion, but it has letters and numbers on it. Could this be a code? Oh, cupcakes. Can I eat some, babe? No, honey. Those are not for eating. Those are for the code, hun. And yes, those are chocolate. Ah, oh, babe, will you quit teasing me? Nope. I love messing with you, especially for chocolate. Now, get back to solving that puzzle, honey. Let's see. There's a P-E-N-I-K-I-I-E and P cupcake. There's also some numbers here. 266. Six. What could this mean? Let's see if I can arrange the cupcakes to make a code. Crimson just randomly guesses what the code is. No, that's not right. After some time, he figures out the code. P-I-N-K-I-E-P-I-E -I -E -I -E. Awesome! I figured out the code from the letter one. Now the number one. What do those numbers mean? Why are they arranged like this? It's 266. After some time, Crimson figures out what the numbers mean. Oh, it's someone's birthday. Gee, I wonder whose. Crimson looks up. Hey babe, it's your birthday, isn't it? Maybe. It may or may not be. Let's try it. Crimson rearranges the cupcakes to 626. Six. Crimson walks over to the safe. Little does he know, the safe has two locks on it. Really, babe? Two locks? You never told me this. Oh, well, now you know! Now, to put the passcodes into the safe. He types in the passcode to the letter ones first. Pinky Pie. 
The passcode is correct. Crimson is annoyed by what the passcode is. Of course, Vicky named the passcode after herself. No wonder some phonies tried to steal her cakes and pastries. Now for the number code. Crimson enters the number code. The passcode is also correct. Yay, this is great. Now, what's inside? Well, inside is a small red button. This is really helpful to you because it deactivates the big red lasers. Awesome. Now I get to have my cake. Crimson pushes the small red button and it deactivates the lasers. Finally, I get to have some chocolate cake for myself. He carefully jumps over the countertop and grabs the chocolate cake, carefully carrying it to a safe and secluded spot where he can eat it all to himself. Ah, finally. I can devour this cake all to myself. <laughs> Hi! <gasps> oh my god, babe. I didn't see you there. Well, I've been narrating and talking to you this whole time. I've been watching your every move, hun. You definitely scared me there, I'm not gonna lie. Shit, but... Who would have this cake for Pinkie Pie anyway? I did. I just wanted to be a surprise for you, honey. So, I pretty much ordered it for us. My love dove. That's very clever, babe. I love you so much. I love you too, my love dove. Can you share some with me, honey buns? Nope. Please? Nope. Oh. My cake. Please! Okay, okay, fine. I'll let you have some. <laughs> some. Kiss crimson on the lips. Ah, oh, babe. Let's have another adventure together. Crimson kisses me on the lips. Oh, <laughs> you're so adorable. Crimson and I have a romantic time eating chocolate cake together as a new adventure begins. Then, then basically there are security guards patrolling the bakery with their flashlights ensuring 
Pink, basically no one getting to the bakery or even steals anything. When the hell did Pinky get security guards? I put them in the story to make it not easy for you. Wow. Fine. Have it your way. I love that. I love those takes. Oh my god. <laughs> I find it funny how you don't even give these guards names. They're just colors. They're Yeah, their names are colors. So what, are they actually the color? Do they have the same? Yes. Wow. How original. I know. I know. I try to be creative. Damn. There goes my best hiding spot. Oh well. It's time for more sneaking around then. If my chair can stop squeaking. <laughs> I didn't hear it squeak. <laughs> Whatever, I'll try again. <laughs> Bless you, honey. <laughs> I felt it <sighs> coming. I couldn't stop. <clears throat> I did it. I smothered every single one of your guard friends unconscious. And now, I shall kill you in cold blood. Hmm, I've been hungry for a long time. I think you do nicely in a feast for me. <laughs> something I'll harvest. Something? Something the harvesting a chair? <laughs> Something about harvesting a chair and squeakiness. <laughs> Scream for me. She'll be screaming in a whole lot of pain. <laughs> oh, that kind of screaming. Oh. <laughs> and then you make eating devouring noises hungrily. You want me to actually mimic as if I was- Yep. Oh, <laughs> great. Fine. <laughs> That's really stupid. It's really good, lovey! Whatever. It is really good! It's part of voice acting, honey. I get it, alright. I just feel stupid doing it. That's the point of voice acting! <laughs> From the top. It's time for the harvest. It's <laughs> really cringy. That's really good, honey. You make it sound so realistic, too, and I love it. I'm doing it one more time. Then I'm moving on after that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was delicious. Now for that cake. <laughs> <laughs> that was just perfect timing. I mean, that was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> You're really happy to see what is inside. Yay, this is so like, stupid. Yay! <laughs> yes. That is so out of my character, but fine. Yay, this is great. And my phone. Stop. Shut the fuck up. Uh. <laughs> Yay, this is great. Now, what's inside? Uh. <laughs> Apparently a burp. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I just wanted to be a surprise for you, honey. So I pretty much ordered it for us. It's very clever, babe. I love you so much. I should probably have something in my mouth, actually. You did really well with just just having having your mouth full. That's really that's really that's gonna that's some talent, hun. Oh, sure. Love it. Oh no, Green! He's unconscious. Shall we make sure that the <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, Can't get through the lines without fucking up. Da 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 Oh no! Green! He's unconscious! Ah!
why I'm doing the voice crack! Look at this! Uh, there's so much to drink. It's... I sound like I'm drunk, but I'm drinking water that is used from the... That is uh, in the fucking jack-in-the-box cup. Yeah! <laughs> Jack-in-the-box! And this shit empty! <laughs> ah, no noises. Fuck. Bitch! I'm just throwing things for no reason. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <clears throat> oh no. Green! He's unconscious! Voice crack again! God damn! I really like her mane! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Senior Bello doing the voices. I am not you! <laughs> okay, that's enough. Oh boy, I am getting dizzy. Crimson transforms into Sephiroth and grabs Pinkie Pie in the throat and lightly squeezes it. <laughs> I cannot fucking help it! There's Sephiroth's theme playing in the background as I'm recording this. Fuck, man. That is Hunt my Hunt Bun's favorite character in Final Fantasy. I can't fucking help it, okay? Okay. Crimson has Sephiroth's clothing and grabs Pinkie Pie in the throat and lightly squeezes it. Pinkie Pie struggles to breathe. <laughs> Well then, apparently my hunt bun gets Sephiroth's clothing. That's a badass thing to do, I'm not gonna lie, but still. <laughs> All props for him, okay? <laughs> uh, I love making my hunt bun have Sephiroth jokes, anyway. Uh, Pinky. Fuck, man. Crimson grabs Pinkie Pie in the throat and lightly squeezes it like how strong Sephiroth is in Final Fantasy. Wait, that fucking kills Pinkie Pie. Never fucking mind then. Uh, uh, how many Sephiroth jokes am I gonna make in one fucking blooper reel? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling bullshit. There's no way they would have spotted me. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Whew. Oh, thank God. I thought I would get caught. Now then, I'm getting closer to my chocolate cake. Now, I- Fucking damn it. <laughs> Sorry, that was a pies. <laughs> I'm take it out before it burns. Of course, honey. I will be back. Thank you. I will try and continue. <laughs>